Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Creative Designs and in this video we're going to be doing this nice sort of neon line effect in Photoshop. Um, so this is a really cool effect and I don't know if I created this but I created it randomly. I did not see any videos on this, I didn't see any blogs on this. So if there is videos out there I apologise, I'm not copying you at all. Just to, just to say that out. But because um, I heard someone did say there was a video like this when I was going to say I was pronouncing it that I'll be doing this but I never seen any but it's this nice text and then we have these sort of like neon lines going through and I literally just did this in the last 12 seconds or 10 whatever I don't know why I said 12 sorry but you know 20 seconds I did this literally really quick but let's get started so we're gonna go to file new I'm just gonna make my width for my document about 12 um sorry 12 what's the matter with 12 today sorry um, <laughs> Um, 720 pixels of width and the height I'm going to make about five, um, 540. Okay, so now we have this nice just document like this. It's going to lo lock the um, layer and we're going to get started. So I'm just going to fill this background by clicking control and backspace or hitting on the keypad. Um, now the make sure your for background color is black for this to work. And then just hit control and backspace and what that does is fills the um canvas or anything that you've selected over here to fill. So after that we're gonna get the text tool and um I'm just gonna let it load. And I'm just gonna be using the reboard reboard, I think that's right. Yeah, reboard um font and the size, I'm just gonna leave it as that for now. See if that's the right size. Yeah, that'll be about that'll be fine. So alright, pure creative designs. Oh, actually it's gonna be a bit big. Just gonna scale this down like so. So it's gonna put some text and as you can see that looks nice. Now I'm not gonna edit and this in any way, I'm not gonna add any gradient overlays or a glow or anything like that. Um but I'm actually gonna go and click control and alt on my keyboard. As you can see it brings up these two little two arrows. And if I do that I can drag it down or I can go here, right click and duplicate layer. And if I just drag it down like so, I'm just going to leave a little little gap at the bottom here like so. And then I'm going to go to edit, transform and flip vertical. Now once this is flipped vertical, I'm just going to want to just take it back up to the top and just perfectly line this up. As you can see, that is absolutely perfect. And I'm just going to go down um just just a few because don't want the G to touch. So like so. So now I have this nice sort of um drop shadow and to now to make this um look like it's a shadow, I'm just gonna get the rubber tool. Um doesn't really matter on size, you just wanna gonna right click on the layer and choose rasterize type. And then it'll just make it like a normal um layer, so it means we can use the rubber on it. Now I'm just gonna make my opacity sixty percent, uh make sure hardness is down to naught. And I'm just going to go over this like so. And as you can see, that gives a nice drop shadow effect. You might want to increase it on the ends or whatever, or maybe just take it down even further. So you have this just this nice shadow effect below of the text. So now we're going to want to create those um, lines. Now this is pretty simple to do. I'm going to be using the pen tool. Now I'm just going to create a new layer for this and I'm just going to choose the pen tool and I'm making sure I'm on the second one here so we have the three here, the second one and the third, first one there. So now we're just going to want to create a nice line so I'm just going to hit click not holding just click and then click again and I'm going to as you can see if I hold down and move up and down I can actually curve this now depending on how you want it to go I'm just going to take mine down let go, click again. Now this is creating a path, and these are pr these. I don't really like paths. I don't particularly use them. You might want to zoom in a bit more. So say um, say 150 percent, and I'm just going to want to just just create like a an, a nice line effect. Um, careful that you don't distort anything. So that was a bit of rubbish. And um, just depending where about you click, you can. You can create a really nice uh, effect, line effect, and obviously the neon's going to be running behind this text. And it's just going to be really smart. You can take it off the canvas or leave it on. It's up to you. But once you've got that, you just want to go get the um, brush tool. And, um, 
yeah, is it the brush tool here? And you just want to set the size down to one, depending on how thick you want the layer to be. Um, I tried with three because I thought three would look good, but it makes it way too thick. It's like quite thick, but with one pixel, making sure you're on any of these, just one pixel uh, does the job fine. So now go back to the um, pen tool, and I'm just going to right click on the layer and choose. Um, oh, what was it now? Oh, completely forgot. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, stroke path. And then with the stroke, you're going to choose the tool brush, like so. Making sure simulate pressure is on. Don't think it really matters. It was just on anyway. But just check, tick that if it's not ticked already. And hit OK. So now if I right click and choose delete path, we have this nice um, line going through. And if I zoom out back to 100%, as you can see, the line is not distorted. But because I am actually zoomed in, it's a, oh, sorry. Um, it is actually just distorted it, but it won't look like that afterwards. Now I'm just going to create um, some more lines. Just um, go through. Now you want to take your time. I'm just going to rush this. The first one was just to show you what to do, but um, if you just you know keep pressing Control T to undo. Say if you don't like something, um, always get it how you want it to look. Say the video looks different, but you don't like it. You know, just create, spend time on it, don't just rush through. So, right click, stroke path, um, choose brush, simulate pressure, OK. Now I'm just going to um, right click, delete path, like so. So, we have another line. I'm just going to start off again, but I'm going to start off from down here, going up, over the top. Now, this depends on how you want it to go. You don't have to do it like that. This isn't that nice. I'd obviously spend time making this look how I want it to look. Right click again, um, stroke path, and choose the brush. It'll look on pencil at first, but choose brush and choose OK. Right click again and delete path. So now I have these lines, another bit messy. I might want to just drag, drag them down or whatever. But they look quite nice. So now we're going to right click and choose blending options. And we are going to add an outer glow to these. Now we don't want it to be anything too big. We're just going to want to take the size down to about a two. Um, depends. Yeah, size of two pixels, and hit OK. So now we have this nice um, glowing um, lines. So if I just zoom back out to 100%, as you can see, we have these nice glowing lines. So um, now we're going to obviously want to add some color to these. Now you could literally just gradient overlay them but the best thing to do is create a new new layer now like I did on the um, glowing um, text I this is the type of method I used um, I don't know if you ever seen that video but it's pretty good go check it out and this is where I got the originality from this f well for this video from so I'm going to get the brush layer um, brush tool sorry Take the size up a bit. Um, actually, might choose one of these. Yeah, that looks about. Um, actually, maybe a little bit more, less. Yeah. So, whatever you want. Um, you're gonna want to go over each line, depending on if, if um, you want each line to be coloured. So I'm just gonna undo the, just so I can just see the lines. So what I've done is I've just got rid of the eye down here, so you can see what these um, lines look like. So you can edit each one perfectly. Now, once I've got that, um, I'm using like the the it looks um how can I describe it um, blurred. So use the blurred one down here. It's cl classed as soft, but these ones here um yeah they're called hard and they they does doesn't really give them a glow. So I'm just going to choose blue for now, and I'm going to just go over these lines like so. Doesn't have to be perfect like so. I'm going to choose another choose green this doesn't matter you use whatever colors you want to use um, now this is the tricky part it's just trying to find which line goes to which and then a I'm going to use a purple uh, like so Mucked up a bit there but after you've done that we just want to blur this we're going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur and I'm just going to blur the pixels down quite a bit so maybe 17, 17 looks good choose OK and I'm going to go to where it's the layers are choose colour 
So now we have the lines coloured in this lovely colour, and they actually mix a bit, and it really gives them a nice effect. So now if I go back to the text, I'm just going to um, zoom out one here to 100%. So this is what it would look like, just because I'd zoomed in and I made this canvas size a bit dodgy size. But as we can see, we have these nice line effects, and then the um, drop shadow. And as you can see, the drop shadow, I don't know about if you like this, um, because the some of these come over. As you can see, this has coloured the actual drop shadow in. If you don't like that, you can just drag it above the layer, and it'll go back to that. But I think it's a really nice effect, having this little, the colours on it, um, like so. And that is it. I'm just going to show you one more thing. This is um, a little trick. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to zoom in to 200%. Now on the edges, now we these are sort of like they're coming from nowhere, but we could have them sort of fade in. And the way we can do that is just getting the brush tool, and just oh sorry, making sure we're on the layer, and just click a couple of times down. Sorry, I'm on the wrong one. Whoops. <laughs> Make sure you're on the right layer of the actual lines, and we can just click on here just a little bit, so they look like they're not coming from anywhere. Depending on how much you want to dim them down, the more you're going to want to click. So it's a pretty nice effect. I'll just do it on these edges here, like so. And now, if I zoom back out to a hundred percent, we have this nice text with these lovely lines going behind it, and it's going to look good on anything, even a logo. And it's pretty simple to do. Up to you if you want to make the lines thicker, if you want to have more lines going. If you create a new layer on every line, you can do. You can duplicate them and have two two separate lines just going above each other, like on the previous one I did. I put two lines together, but if I actually zoom in, they go pretty distorted, and the colour sort of goes. So with the one line, you get a better colour from it. And as you can see, it's a really really nice effect. Now, um, hope you subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. And thanks for watching.